Hiya Capricorn, it's me Kit. How's everyone doing? I'm here to do a quick video for you guys today. A quick reading um, regarding your person. Now if you're not looking for a love reading, um, stand by. There will be more readings coming up. So with that said, let's get to this. Um, oh yeah guys, I just uh, started a Facebook page. Uh, my name there is Kit Tarot, K-I-T tarot so feel free to you know come by and and join join my page it's going to be um you know we'll have readings on there too but it'll be more of my um personal life as well so that's kind of cool right anyway with that said let's go we're not going to take it i didn't ask but it was walking away so let's see what's going on Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides, what is the overall energy, please, for Capricorn's person? What is the overall energy, please, for Capricorn's person? Thank you. Let's see. Anxiety. Capricorn, your person is uh, under some stress over something. I wonder what that's all about. All right, let's see. You know what? I'm going to use these cards. Because I can. <laughs> Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. What's going on with Capricorn's person, please? What's going on with Capricorn's person? going on with Capricorn's person. Thank you. We have the hair font. What else, please? The chariot. The four of swords underneath the deck. The seven of, no, the nine of cups. Okay. Okay, what's going on with Capricorn? How does Capricorn feel about their person? Too many. How does Capricorn feel about their person, please? Thank you. The Five of Wands. The Two of Wands. Interesting. This wanted to come out. Temperance underneath the deck, the King of Wands. That's interesting. All right, let's see what's going on here. Now, guys, you can flip these sides, even though I ask if it resonates the other way around. Feel free to flip them. All right. What do we got going on here? So, Capricorn, I feel like with the Hierophant, the Chariot, and the Four of Swords, um, they, somebody wants a higher level of commitment. Somebody wants to take the relationship to the next step. They're really in their head over about it, and they they. But when they make their decision, they're going to move and they're going to move quickly. They want victory with you, but I feel like you might not be so sure. Um, there could be some, you know, arguments going on, some jealousy going on, and you've really had to be patient because I feel like I feel like you speak your mind. I, I feel like you don't, you haven't really been um, holding back from speaking your mind, although you've been patient. You've been patiently waiting probably for this higher level of commitment that hasn't come yet. This person, you know, I want to see more emotion on this, but I haven't seen it. I don't see it. This person does um, think of you in a higher commitment sort of way. Um, but I feel like 
possibly the both of you are still a little unsure if you should go that route. And, you know, herein lies the anxiety. So I'm going to pull some more cards and see. Let's, let's get a couple of oracles here. Spirit, how does Capricorn's person view this relationship? How does Capricorn's person view this relationship, please? Let's see. How does Capricorn's person view this relationship? Oh, thank you. Self-love, creation, and intentions. So I feel like your person... I feel like your person has good intentions on this relationship. I feel like they want to, um, you know, make this grow. I, I do feel, though, that with the self-care and the energy card, again, and we have self-care and we have the Four of Swords, which could represent, you know, healing as well. I feel like your person is, is thinking about themselves right now. But they do have good intentions towards the two of you. How does Capricorn feel about their person? Thank you. Storm and unexpected. One more card, please. How does Capricorn feel about their person? Thank you. And masculine. But if you look at that picture, it's very dark. Very dark. I feel guarded and vulnerability at the bottom of the deck. Capricorn, I feel like you feel that there are things being withheld from you. I feel like you feel like there could be secrets from this person um, because this person is, is taking care of themselves right now and maybe not so much you. Um, I think you're both mirroring this anxiety card here. But your, your person right now is, it's pretty much all about themselves. But I feel like they do want victory with you, a higher level of commitment. You know, maybe if you guys have just started dating, maybe they want to be exclusive, you know, or something like that. Because I feel like you have paranoia you have some paranoia about something. And I always say to trust your intuitions. I, your intuition I always say that um, so if your intuition is telling you that something you know isn't quite right listen to it spirit what else can you tell me regarding the cards on the table for Capricorn what else can you tell me please for Capricorn You. Page of Pentacles. And the Nine of Cups. So you make this person happy, very happy. And this person does want to come in with an offer. It, it To me, it looks like a small offer, though. Thank you. We have the Nine of Wands. So this person with the nine of wands and want he, this person is a little um guarded um but is still willing to fight the nine of wands is someone who is still willing to fight even though they've been uh wounded so i'm happy to see the cups here i'm happy to see the nine of cups a lot happier than before because there was really not much emotion here at all and it, it was a lot of thought and it was just a lot of, um, you know, it, it wasn't there. I was not feeling any of it. So to see that, that's nice. This person does want to <clears throat> fight for this relationship, is willing to fight for this relationship. 
wants to make an offer to you, but the offer, it doesn't look like much. Um, I don't know if they're breadcrumbing you. I don't know what the purpose is. We will pull clarifiers for this as well. But let's get some more on your side. What else can you tell me? What else can you tell me? We have the Ace of Cups. And we have the Four of Cups. So you've offered, you've offered this person your, your love. You've shown how much you care. You, with the Ace of Cups, you do want that um, new beginning with this person, but you want it, I believe you would want it more stable than it has been. Now we have the Nine of Pentacles. You're afraid of being single. You're afraid of, you know, being on your own. You don't want to lose this person. And again, with the, it's that paranoia feeling I'm feeling. Um, the High Priestess, you're not saying much. I'm going to pull some more cards. Let's try this deck. This is for Capricorn, please. Please clarify the cards on the table for Capricorn. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Page of Pentacles here? This one. Mm hmm. The Four of Cups again. But this time on your person's side. So this person does want to make you that offer. But it's one cup out of four. And like I said with the Page of Pentacles, it's a very small offer. It's almost like breadcrumbing. And you're going to be like, mm, you know, I don't think you're going to be that happy with it. Because that's not what you're looking for. That's not what you want. That's not you. So let's see. Why is the nine of cups here? Because I did tell you you make this person happy, which you do. Why is the nine of cups here, please? Oh, okay. These I'm going to get. The sun. That's like I said, you make this person happy. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Thank you. The Queen of Pentacles. This person sees you, um, you know, as stable and abundant. But in your mind, you're so worried that it might be something like you're feeling like this, is, this could be too good to be true, maybe. Um, I feel like you just feel like there are things hidden. Why is the Ace of Cups here, please? Why is the Ace of Cups here? One card, please. The Ace of Cups. Ooh, there we go. The Eight of Cups. You're afraid this person is going to walk away. Oh, Capricorn. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here? You know, guys, and again, you can flip this situation around. I'm reading it as I see it. If this is reversed for you, you know, take it as it resonates for you. Okay, so the Four of Cups is here with the Nine of Cups. And we have the Nine of Cups on both sides. So you both make each other very happy. Very happy. I feel like you are looking for more of an offer than they are giving. And you're hoping that they will give that offer. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Two of Cups. The Two of Cups. Yeah, you really, you feel this person is, is uh, you know, the shizzle. <laughs> Capricorn, I don't 
see any deception here. I don't see, you know, any issues. I just feel like maybe your person is going through something right now. Hold on. My advice to you is to try to get those some of those thoughts out of your head, that paranoia that something is going to, you know, happen. Something, you know, is going to destruct. So I say definitely try to get those thoughts out of your head and go with the flow, Capricorn. Just go with the flow. So there you go. That's your reading. Um, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, Capricorn.